E beh, tutti in piedi a salutare questa vittoria meritatissima di Thomas Muster. Può pretendere dal suo tennis questo ed altro, Rios. E con questo lungo linea ed uno smash che sigla la vittoria si conclude la centesima edizione dell'Open di Monte Carlo in due ore e tredici minuti di gioco con il punteggio di Enco ma non è tanto sorridente Rios ma c'è un tipo schivo questo lo giocherà con maggiore attenzione l'effetto sorpresa non è stato sufficiente quindi basta attendere l'errore di un Diodin veramente affaticato il lancio della palla al pubblico da parte di Carlos Moya che in un'ora e 56 minuti di gioco riesce Quarten men de sezon Gjeshet e meqe Quarten Si skat de e Pecco officiel De l'Open de Monte Carlo La Coupe du Prince Che récompense le vainqueur depuis plusieurs années to the big titles, he's been a finalist at Wimbledon, a finalist at the US Open, now he's the champion in Monte Carlo. Just set match, Curtin. 6-2, Well, an ending that surprised all of us. Everybody thought the serve was a fault. In fact, it was an ace. The first ace of the match. what he just failed to do last taking the first Monte Carlo title his second master series direct to Hamburg Well, 
a quite magnificent finish. Delight in the Nadal camp for the first Master Series title for this brilliant young left-hander from Spain. <laughs> Nadal successfully defends his title and becomes only the second player in the Open era to win a hat-trick of titles here, following in the footsteps of the great Ilya Stasi. Very prestigious title and one which Nadal holds very dear to his heart. He's done it. The king of play still reigns here in the Principality. An unprecedented feat, maybe one that we'll never see again, who knows. Eight times a champion in the Principality. If ever a player had ownership of an event, it is Rafael Nadal. And a streak that has now extended to 42 straight wins. Novak Djokovic reigns in Monte Carlo. He ends Rafa Nadal's eight-year hold on this tournament. Stan is the man in Monte Carlo. Vavrinka claims his first ever Masters 1000 title. Just a second ever win. Long it is, and a little bit of tennis history is made in Monte Carlo. Novak Djokovic becomes the first player to win the opening three Masters of the Year. He wins here for a second time in his career. He had to dig deep today. What a way to seal it! And Rafael Nadal wins a ninth title.
in Monte Carlo. He snaps a two-year barren run. Rafael Nadal rewrites the tennis history books in Monte Carlo. For a fifth time here. Fabio Fanini is a Masters 1000 champion. He can barely believe it. He's the first Italian to win here in Monte Carlo since 1968. It's just missed, and Stefano Sitsipas can begin the celebrations. He claims his very first Masters 1000 title, and in doing so, he's the first ever Greek Masters champion. It's just wide, and it is mission accomplished in Monte Carlo for Stefanos Tsitsipas. It's back-to-back -back titles for the young Greek.